So we have an inch. Good morning, flannel fam. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to fix part of our water issue. We have a shallow two inch well on a half horsepower pump. And what's happening is, is when we use too much water, essentially, we run out. Our pump is putting out between two and three gallons a minute. And so that's not nearly enough to run anything. So when they made these shallow wells, what they did was they put pressure tanks in them. And what the pressure tank does is acts as a reserve of pressurized water. So your little pump will trickle and fill up these tanks. And then when you open your faucet, that pressurized water comes out. The downside is you only have the reserve that you have and then it takes your pump forever to fill it up. So we have approximately 52 gallons worth of pressurized tanks, but you don't actually have 52 gallons pressurized because part of that is filled with the bladder that has air pressure in it. And that's what gives you your pressure. And when the pressure in the tank gets below your cut on level for your pump, it will circulate and start to fill your tanks. When the tank pressure reaches whatever the cutoff is for your pump, it shuts off. Mine is currently set to something like 25 and 40, but that's all the pressure I get out. So what this does is this gives you more like eight to 10 gallons a minute, if not more of pressurized water. We're running into issues because we're trying to fill up 55 gallon drums out in our field for our animals. So when we do that, we get about a quarter of that thing full and then we have no water. So we are adding a 52 gallon pressurized tank. So that's what this video is, adding pressurized tanks to your current existing well system. Just be careful, these tanks are under pressure. So anytime you're dealing with pressure, you should be careful. So here's what you need for the job. The tank that I purchased, like I said, is a 52 gallon tank. It's right there in the corner. It hasn't been hooked up yet. These two have been hooked up. These were before I got here. I believe that's a 20 and that's a 32. That might be a 15 though, it might be even smaller. I haven't found a label on it yet to say. There's a pipe that comes out and it hooks to the other ones. And these are your pressure switches here that I was talking about and your well pressure's down there. So we need to hook into this. Now that has an inch and a quarter opening. We have an inch and a quarter threaded. That will fit our inch and a quarter pipe. We have an inch and a quarter coupling. We have an inch and a quarter reducer down to three quarter because that's what the rest of my stuff is. That fits right in there like that. Three quarter inch pipe, a three quarter inch T, a three quarter inch 45, because that's the angle mine's gonna be at. You can use a PVC cutter if you have one, you can use a sawzaw, you can use a hacksaw, you can use a handsaw, you can use a skill saw, you can use a chop saw, it doesn't matter. You can cut PVC with almost anything. Our cleaner and our glue and our Teflon tape to hook up that threaded coupling. So first thing we're gonna need to do is cut off water to the tanks, drain the tanks so we can tap into the system. So let's do that. This ball valve here takes the water from the pump and charges the system. So if we turn this off, essentially what that does is it tells the pump that you're still full of water. So it doesn't need to cycle anything through. Okay, so you turn off water to any of your other things. Then we're gonna turn off water from the house. That's my cutoff to the house. So we're gonna turn that off. And then if you follow this pipe, it goes around That was the cutoff that goes all the way around here into my tanks. So this now is still pressurized, but it doesn't have water coming to it anymore. So we're going to open this, drain the tanks, and then we're going to tap in and set that one up. While we're waiting for that to drain, we're going to hook up our tank. So we're going to glue this piece into this. And we're going to cut it a little shorter because you can see it's too long. We don't need it that long. So we'll cut it in half. Make sure you have enough to come out of the opening there. So we got our glue. Purple cleaner. It's the writing off. Cleans it up. Make sure you get a nice good seal. A couple swirls around. This stuff starts to work really quickly. So make sure you got a nice good gooey coat on there. Put it in, give it a little half twist. Hold pressure for about 15 seconds, 30 seconds. It's already set. That's it. Oh, when you're working in closed spaces like this too, you don't need this stuff, put your lid back on. Otherwise you'll end up with purple and glued on knees when you knock it over and kneel in a puddle. So now I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on here.
That looks like it might be a better fit. All right, so we've dry fitted everything. Looks like it's gonna work just fine. So we're gonna take it apart, we'll clean them and we'll do them one piece at a time. We'll give that five or six minutes and then we'll cut the pump back on, see what happens. All right, so now we're just gonna reverse everything. We open the water to the house and to the tanks and then we crack this because if you do it too quickly, you'll overtax your pump. So you just want to crack it. I have a silk filter, so you can see when it starts to suck down here, that's too much. Now, depending on the size of your pump, how deep it is, water access, all that stuff will depend on how long it takes to fill these bad mamma jammas. So we'll come back and check on it. It's a good time for a tea. While we're waiting for it to fill, let me tell you why this could save your pump. What I've been told kills pumps is it's cycling on and off, over and over and over again. It actually running isn't that bad for it. It's the kicking on and kicking off. Relays, switches, all that stuff. Apparently that's what wears out first. If you have more storage, your pump kicks on less because you have a bigger reserve. Now this does not get you more water faster out of the ground. What this does is this puts more water on standby so that you can use before your pump kicks on. So you have more water to use before it turns on. Thank you for joining me today. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so. We appreciate your support. Don't forget to grow as you grow. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, it fits nicely. Yeah, perfect. Cool. And it's connected with the other pumps too? Or it will other? be. Okay. That's what I had to get all this stuff for. Okay. So this is gonna get glued onto this and it's gonna go in right here. And then I'm gonna 45 it. <gasps> oh my god. You ruined, well it's such a high class operation. Sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> I'm just teasing you.